Hey guys, it's Cavell, and I'm doing a AGV K3 SV uh, review as well as a comparison of the AGV K3, K1, and Corsa R. So if you're interested in the AGV but you're not sure what you want, stay tuned and see some comparisons very soon. So on the left you have the AGV K3 SV in glossy black and on the right is the K1 in glossy white. I'm not sure if it will be reversed on camera or not if I'm saying left or right is right correctly. <laughs> but um, I think you get which one is which. The K1 looks a lot more aggressive. The K3 does not have a shield on it yet. But I kind of like the K3 in the nighttime, so I'm leaving the clear shield on it. It's a great helmet for the nighttime where it magnifies the view and everything. It's just great to have in the nighttime. You want better view in the nighttime. So that is the look difference of the K3 and K1. You have little air vents here. But you don't have them on the K3. You have a little air vent up here on the top. The K1 has the button clip as you can see and the K3 has the mechanical clip. Now if you want to compare the Corsa R to the K1, we'll take this one away. And we will put the Corsa R. So that is your difference of the Corsa R and the K1. As you can see, the Corsa R is really, really aggressive. It has this really nice spoiler on the back. You can't see that as well on this helmet that I have because it's actually clear. I need to get it colored or wrapped or something to make it stand out more. But um, it is overall a great helmet. It's very lightweight. I love it. This is the helmet that spoiled me with helmets. I had so many other brands like Scorpion, Icon, but as soon as I got this one, I never looked back. It is just amazing and definitely worth the money. So here is your comparison for K1 on the right in white and the Corsa R. I believe this one is the Jack Miller 2016 I believe. I'm not sure if it's still available and it has a blue shield on it. So let's compare the K3 with the Corsa R. We'll do a view like this, side by side. You can see that there is such a curve on the bottom of the K3 and definitely not as aggressive looking. But perfect if you want comfort and vision. The Corsa R was more made for people that race and everything like that. so. That's what they kept in mind for when they designed the Corsa R. As you can tell, the little spoiler on the back isn't as aggressive, and it's overall not as aggressive as the K1 is. But it is great for the road, it's very quiet. Um, in the SV edition, you have the pop down visor there and I've used the clear visor on this one so far and I was actually amazed because I do have vision issues that I have to correct with contacts or glasses but it seemed as soon as I uh, lowered the visor on this it seemed like it gave me better vision I don't know if it's something in the helmet itself that makes it better vision but that's basically what this helmet was built for for better vision 
you also have more wider range of view with this helmet compared to the other ones as well so yeah overall very comfortable my favorite is definitely the Corsa R but you know that's a very high-end helmet and AGV overall is a very good helmet I think it's one of my favorites 